What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's go over how to get the best items in Diablo 4 without even having to play the game. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but some people have the mindset of, if I wanna get like a new upgrade on a ring, I just gotta play the game. No, that is not the correct thing to do. The best thing to do to actually acquire items is actually through a tree. Now, technically, yes, you do have to play the game in the sense where you have to acquire gold, but you're not playing the game to get that drop. You don't actually have to play the game to get the best in slot item. And it's more so about just being efficient with being able to understand which items will actually sell for lots of gold. So you can take your gold and then just buy a new item or just sell whatever you get as item drops in the game and then you can instantly just go to any of your trade websites or discord groups it's an excellent way for you guys to get upgraded gear so let me go ahead and give you guys the breakdown on how it actually works and the different methods that you can actually trade so first off there is technically an official diablo sanctuary discord this is an official partnered diablo 4 uh, discord group and it's got people in uh, blizzard here and by the way just as a heads up all the different trading websites just as a heads up you're just trading for gold you're not trading any real money if someone wants to ask you for real money i need that money these are where the areas get a little bit gray in terms of terms of service for a lot of different action rpgs but if you're just trading gold or items for items it does not break terms of service okay so starting right off there is the sanctuary discord so I i'm already in it i took a screenshot of basically kind of the rundown so there's a lot of different little sections in the discord group this one you can see at the top i'm under want to buy rares druid so it's basically where you would post what you are looking for or wanting to buy different items in the game you'll see people posting different uh, items and depending on the class that you play you may want to check different groups because maybe you're running an item that can be used for multiple different classes right so starting right off you can see over on the side over here this guy is posting something over here his item and you can see sometimes they'll say 50 million or whatever the gold cost would be sometimes they do little auctions sometimes they take offers i'm not really a fan of this uh, method the reason why is because when people are like offer offer they, they want just some like random number you can throw out a random number and then 99% of the time they're like well I've been offered much higher and they just want you to keep on going higher I just like it where people just list their items and you can just go ahead and say hey I want to buy your item for this sort of price and it makes it much more I would say friendly for most people when the price is something that is determined and you can just say hey let's go uh, and trade so there's two different trade websites that I'm going to be mentioning uh, other than the official Diablo Sanctuary Discord but if you want to google like Diablo trade discords there's tons okay these are just two other websites that I have personally used and I would say that they are kind of a little bit better so I like uh, DiabloTrade.gg and Diablo.trade some different things will require you to link your discord be a little bit cautious on linking either discord or your battle.net account with certain trade websites because things sometimes get breached and there's sometimes things that can happen remember these aren't technically official blizzard diablo trade websites you're just other people that have made different uh, websites that you can engage in trades because it makes things way better so let's go over kind of what you may want to look for kind of how it works and i'll kind of mention the items that you may want to save so you can sell for gold so you can upgrade your other characters so this is diablo.trade it's one of my favorite ones so here's kind of how it works once you're at the website you can type in whatever you're looking for let's say you're looking for a ring and obviously you're going to select ancestral no one really trades sacred gears and then for sockets it may matter for season one because it matters in terms of the socket colors right and for the most part i wouldn't worry too much about adding sockets you can add sockets it's no big deal you can set your minimum uh, amount of price uh, you can set your minimum or maximum amount of attack power that you want and then you want to select of course your season or if you're playing hardcore or softcore or if you're playing non-season and then if you want you can select your class but i would leave that blank though the reason why is because there could be an item from another class that still works for your class and then you could sort it doesn't really matter though so here's what i would look for okay so there's the implicit i wouldn't fill this out on like basically any item because if you've watched any like good diablo build guide i'll tell you swords are way better than daggers because daggers roll with let's say damage to close enemies versus the swords will roll with crit strike damage which is superior right uh, but for the most part i wouldn't worry about implicits it's basically baked onto the item but let's say we want to add a different affix so for rings the most priority stats that are for like 99 percent of builds is getting that perfect crit strike chance at five and getting high life unless you're trying to get like youtube thumbnail like high damage to screenshot um you basically really want to have life on your rings because it's like one of the scarce areas that you can actually roll life on uh, you can't roll it on like you know every single piece of gear in diablo 4 so what you would do is you would add a bunch of stats that you're looking for and maybe start start lowering the amount of numbers here that you 
you want on the item if you don't reach the threshold and how much gold is required. So for example, rings, usually you want to have perfect crit strike chance. If it's not perfect, I don't really want to even look at the ring in general. We're also looking at maximum life. These are the two stats that I really want. So I'm going to click search and then this is already populated the results over here. So one thing that's important on Diablo.trade is that in the diamond over here, you can see this one's green, this one's green, um, this one's in red. Okay, so what red means is that they are offline. So it's kind of annoying to deal with. Sometimes you can message them and they'll hop and they'll hop online because people just leave this trade window up on another monitor or whatever. Uh, like when I'm playing, if I'm listing items or if I want to trade with someone, I'm just going to keep this open. So there's a little like sound that pops up when the person does message you back because there's a chat system built onto the website, but you can also connect your Discord and you can also connect your battle net so that you don't have your battle tag so they can just add you. But sometimes it's kind of annoying when random people add you because for me personally, I stream the game. So sometimes people just add me because they want to play. I don't know if they're trying to trade. Sometimes they're, uh, in-game username is different than their battle tag, which also causes some problems. So I like using the uh, system inside over here and I'll show you guys the message system. But basically you can see all the items, you can see the exact price. Sometimes people are annoying and they put taking offers. I hate when people do that. It's basically a waste of time. Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? In my personal opinion, just tell me how much you want for the item. Anyways, you can see all the stats of the items. If you start adding too many stats, you may not find the item that you want. But let's say I really wanted like a resource generation. I hit search and you can see there's 750,000. Yeah, it gets pretty pricey as you add all the stats that people kind of may be searching for. Or if you're playing some sort of niche build, like let's say you want like a barrier generation, you're playing like Temerity or something, you could look for rings that, you know, fit whatever you want. And sometimes things can be very expensive. Sometimes you may not be able to afford it. So what you would do is you would lower, let's say the numbers. Let's say if I put like three crit right here, and let's say I'm okay with like 200 life, even though I think 300 is like the, the minimum it rolls. So you can see now, okay, we're still in like 100, there's 100 million, there's one for 40 million. Okay, now it's getting a little bit cheaper. And you can see there's one for 15 million over here. So depending on how much you're looking for in terms of the stats, you'll see how many matches actually exist for whatever you're looking for. If I remove, let's say, barrier generation now, well, I've got probably 200 matches. And we can also sort them by whatever other thing that you want, but you can also just try to check out what exists here. So ideally what you wanna do, because people ask me a lot of times while I'm streaming, Slaydra, is this item good? And I have to tell you, well, you have to link me the items so I can actually view it. There is a really good video that I made a while back and I'm going to link it and pin it. So it's called how to boost your damage and how to min max all of your stats. Basically going over all of the best stats that, that are on every single piece of gear. We actually made one. It's the one on YouTube that has 103K views that was released two months ago. This one's really good. I recommend you guys to watch this, but I also updated it for season one and it goes over again, all of the most important stats on very specific items. So that's very helpful. There are also certain times where an item is no longer worth investing in rerolling. I spent basically 200 million to upgrade my chest piece and uh, I bought an item for, it was like 60 million and then I spent over 100 million to try to reroll to get the stat. I never got the stat. So basically I bricked the item because it cost 10 million to reroll and I might as well just buy another item for let's say 60 mil and then invest another, let's say, you know, 40 to 100 million to try to get that reroll. Sometimes you have to take your loss when you can because you could invest way more into the item and still never get your reroll, which is something it feels bad. But um, like this chess piece, I spent over hundred million and it was way better. I ended up buying this one for 19 million and within like 5 million gold on rerolls, I got it to be basically relatively similar to what existed before. The next question I usually get asked also is, is it always good to reroll on one character? The answer is no. There are certain times where you want to actually change a character class. And this is another video where I'm going to have to link, but I'm trying to give you guys the best information. And I already have these videos and there's no point to extend this video to like an hour long going over every single niche thing because sometimes people just want like the core info and I'll give you guys the core info, which is, you know, how to trade. But there are certain times where if you want a very specific role, it's better to say swap to your sorceress and then start re-rolling your items, even if it's a rogue item, because you want a very specific stat and your chances to get a roll on a sorceress basically block out certain things versus other classes. Now this has been updated. Now you can get like barrier generation on like most classes now. Before it was kind of only a sorceress thing, but for the most part, there are certain things that won't really roll on certain classes. So that is something to take into consideration as well. But when you are using the Diablo trade website, once you find the person and you are able to message them. So for example, if I wanted this item right here for 180 mil, I would click contact. You can message them on your discord. You can connect your discord as well as your battle net and you can click like send a message. I like sending a message uh, because sometimes 
people don't just add random people in discord it happens uh sometimes where people just like you know they'll have it set to like where you can't even add them it's really annoying that discord has this but basically in the diablo trade website there is a message system you just click on the little mailbox over here and you'll have your own message you can see all the people that i was talking to and the screenshot and if you click message you can it'll automatically tag the item and say hey i want to buy your item and then we get to add them on Battle.net, and he'll say okay join me and then okay what i asked what his character's name was in the game because again their battle net name and the character name are two different things so it's kind of annoying but that's the way diablo works as far as their trade website goes uh that is like the best way to actually do it so if you're interested in listing an item you can actually list an item as well you just click where it says list item and you would then take a screenshot so you're playing in game you screenshot it you uh you know control paste and then you'll have uh the ability also to manually create if i want to say like i'm listing a weapon and then i would list exactly you know how much i want and all that good stuff and then people can message me again a very frequently asked question is like what is the best way to actually find out if the item is worth anything i recommend you guys to watch my video but in general for most well this is rings uh but for rings obviously you want as high as amount as crit as you can you want a uh, crit damage as well as vulnerable damage is basically across the board for like every single build sometimes people may not want life they want maybe a different offensive stat but for the most part in your weapons category you want crit strike damage you want vulnerable damage whatever your class's main stat is and then core skill damage for the defensive stats usually you want some sort of plus life if the thing can roll it you're also looking for cooldown reduction any variant of three out of the four stats is what you want for a basically a gg item because the fourth one can always be re-rolled at the uh, occultist but of course you have to get lucky with it and you can spend lots and lots of gold but there is some sort of break point depending on your item where you may not want to dump any more money into re-rolling because it's just more effective to rebuy an item but that's basically the video in a nutshell how to buy and sell items and kind of like a brief rundown on kind of what you're looking for on most pieces of gear but the best thing to do is to look at your item and search this is what i would do if i had an item that dropped and i had no idea if it was worth anything i would go to the item stats and look and look at all four of them ideally you just look at three because whatever other one the last one people are going to reroll anyways but you could basically just type in your item what's the crit damage what's the you know stats on it and then just click on search and then you can find out um you can see over here there's no one that has even listed uh, one of these okay let's see if we can search so there's four matches of these are all like you can see <laughs> <laughs> that's like ridiculous amounts of numbers but you can see basically what people are asking for this is what's considered gg in diablo is crit life crit strike damage vulnerable damage and you can see they're all going to be taking offers and some of these will go into the billions of gold so just keep that in mind as well but type in what you have uh in terms of the numbers hit search and if there's nothing listed maybe you have something really good but you might also have something that no one wants so again i recommend watch the videos in the pin as that will explain things further but that's gonna go wrap it up this is how you get the best items without actually playing it and trying to get the item to drop in the game keep in mind you cannot trade your legendaries or your unique items those are two things where you know, they only have to uh, be acquired via a drop so you can't trade any of those so that is the, the best way to, is actually just to trade because you have access to just so many more things in the entire game but hopefully we'll get an official trade website or just a, an official way to trade in the game that'll make things way way easier but that's gonna go and wrap up the video if you guys have any questions or comments let me know down below and i may update you guys with a future video or i'll just answer you guys in the comment but if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one take care